Oh, turn to the Lord. Receive Jesus. Receive Jesus. You need Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Because I love you. I love you. You can't love me. I do love you. Look, adorn me. Tell me what's going on. What is going on out yeah. here for? What you doing out here? What kind because of race you brought out I here? Love, I love people. Did you come for the stand down? No, I came to talk to you today. Listen, man. I'm a king. You need Jesus. I don't need no motherfucking nigga or no man you fucking taking Jesus. care of me. Fuck that. You need Jesus, man. Fuck what you talking about. You're lost on your way to fuck hell. Fuck what you talking about. There's demons in you. Fuck what you talking about. You're, you're depressed. Fuck, 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 fuck. What you talking about, bro? Fuck what you talking about. You I bind you in the name Go to hell. You have no power, no authority. In the name of Jesus. I am a bitch white as a rattlesnake last night. Yes, turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. This, the Bible says that a soft answer turneth away wrath. Jesus, my friends, that's, that's why I'm here today. My friend asked me why I'm here. And I told him because I love him, which means I, I don't just love him, I love you all. And my, my hope for you is that you would turn to the Lord and receive Jesus today and receive eternal life. Because I see a lot, a lot of people in Jackson are just bound to, to sin and drugs and alcohol and this life, this, this life of uh, this gypsy life that you live. Where you take chances with your soul. You take chances with your soul through, through drugs and all these things. Can I give you something to read, my friend, over here? On the phone. My, my friend, can I give you something to read? I'm going to give you something to read, alright? Coming up. Turn to Jesus, man. What's your name? Yeah. What is it? Cedric. Cedric, you got to... You... The Bible says that drunkards won't inherit. You got to stop and put your trust in him. No, but he didn't get drunk. Cedric, I can smell it, man. right with God if you're, if you're doing this. And this. And this. Well, he's going to turn a lake into fire, though, Cedric. What you do? I preach the gospel. What else you do? What I landscape. What else you do? Just get it. I, I worship the Lord. What else you do? Well, I... you at home, what else you do? Well, I, I read the Bible. I pray with my wife. Okay. What uh, else you do? I help her with things around the house. Besides, like... I don't... I, if you're asking me... Like, what type of leisure activities do you do? You do some type well, of... Well, I fellowship with my brothers in Christ. No. You do some type of... You watch sports. You no, write, I don't watch sports. You do write or write about something no. besides Christ. No, I, it's all about Jesus. My life's all about Jesus. Like I everything did. you wake up and do, when you eat, you don't say, mm, that's good. Well, I, I can no. say that. That's not a you sin, though. That's not a sin. So that's not a sin. Yeah, it is. No. If you're getting drunk, it surely okay, is. Cedric. But I can smell it on you your breath. You can smell the, the, nah. the, the beer. You got it. Cedric, 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 Cedric. If you got a nose, you can Cedric. smell that. Cedric. You know, come on. Are you claiming to be a Christian? No. Okay, well, that's good, because you're not. But you can be. Just one thing, I'm a realist. I'm not one of them guys that 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 you know what I'm saying that 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 make the phone. Okay, so you you uh, you're, you're real with where you're at. Man, I get that. No, huh? you know what I say. I don't fake the phone, and that's the reason why the man above helps me take but, care of me. But I well, yeah, it. he's he's good to the evil I and do. the good, Cedric. No, not he's good to the and evil, the and yes, he is. That, I'm not evil. To the so unthankful as well. I do this. Well. The Bible says different, man. It's not to hurt you, offend you, well, him, him, But it him. offends God. You know? It offends God, though. When he lets me know that... He's letting you know right now through me. Yes, he is. That drunkards won't inherit the kingdom of God. You, you saying a drunkard. I'm not. I used to be. No, but I, you're saying a drunkard. You are. Just drinking a beer. <laughs> and you're also, you're also smoking that, that sin in your mouth. A, a, a black and white. It's, so it's what, wicked, man. You got to repent, man. Turn to Jesus. You want to play asphalt now? You need the Lord. The Bible says the fear of the All Lord. All right, man. Go ahead on, The bro. fear of the Lord is to depart from evil, Cedric. The Lord. I love you the Lord. don't fear the Lord, though. Because if you feared the Lord, you wouldn't do that wickedness right there. I love the Lord. Nah, you don't love the Lord. You're a liar. You can't say you love God while you sin against Him. 
See, that doesn't work that way, friends. It doesn't work that way. We say we love God while we sin against Him. It's not how it works. If we really love God, we'll hate evil. If we really love God, we'll turn away from sin. If we really love God, we'll preach about sin. If we really love God, we'll tell others that they're in danger of hell. Like Cedric over here, who's in danger of hell. But he could repent. Of course I love God. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth because I love you. Oh, you want to talk to me now? You, you want to? Yeah. What's your question? What's your question? I do love you. I'm telling you the truth. God bless you with repentance. God bless you with repentance. I hope you repent. That's fine. I'll tell you I love you. God bless you with repentance. God bless you. You need Jesus, man. I have him. I'm giving him to you right now. You can repent. No, you don't need to lie. See, liars won't be in heaven. No, you don't. God came to set you free. God bless you with repentance unto salvation. God came to set you free from your drunkenness. He came to set you free from your drunkenness, Cedric. Repent. Turn from your sin today. Turn from your wickedness. Turn from your unrighteousness. And turn unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. You need to turn to Jesus Christ because time is short. Heaven and hell are forever. Heaven and hell are forever. Absolutely not. No, sir. I don't have to. I don't. I don't have to take orders from you, sir. But I will preach to you the truth. I will preach you the truth. And see, you don't like me because I expose your darkness. You don't like me because I expose your drunkenness. You don't like me, that's why you spit on me. Well, I don't know you either, but I love you. I want you to be saved. Even though you spit in my face, I still love you. But you could repent today, and you could turn from your sin and turn unto Jesus. This vileness, this wickedness inside of you could be changed in Christ Jesus. And they shall not slide. Hallelujah. They shall not slide. Thanks, brother. God bless you. I appreciate that. Well, you said it was, was it Michael yesterday? Michael, yeah, okay, so uh, I just, yeah. Okay. Thanks for remembering. I'm, I'm sorry I, if I felt like I forgot. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey, thank you, Michael. God bless you, man. I appreciate that. In the name of Jesus. All demonic spirits bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind you in the name of Jesus. You have no power. You have no authority over here, Satan. And Jesus Christ. The Bible says there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's none other name under heaven. I don't carry any money on me. I don't have any money to give. I just have the word of God. I just have the word of God to give you because you're in desperate need of it. You're in desperate need of the word of God, Cedric. You need Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. Yes, the Bible says, let no corrupt. Can I give you something to read, man? Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Jesus Christ, turn to him. There's hope for you, man. If you repent. Read that card, man. Alright. Yes, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. There you lie again. I have served this country. Well, does that, does that give us an excuse to live like the devil? No, it does not. No, it does not. You see, we can't live like the devil and expect to go to heaven. We can't live like the devil and expect to receive God's mercy. The only time we can receive God's mercy is if we repent of all of our sin and we trust in Jesus Christ. Oh, that sweet name of Jesus. Ain't that good, brother? Ain't that a sweet name? The 
Bible says, be followers of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ hath loved us and have given us an offering and a sacrifice unto God, a sweet smelling savor it says, but fornication and all uncleanness and our covetousness. Let it not be once named among us as become a saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting. For these things are not convenient, but rather the giving of thanks. For this ye know that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things comes the wrath of God. The wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not therefore partakers with them. The Bible says to be not partakers with the, the children of disobedience. You see, the children of disobedience, my friends, has the wrath of God abiding upon them. The wrath of God abideth upon the children of disobedience. And the scripture is clear. Be not partakers with them. As ye were sometimes in darkness, but now ye are in light. The Bible says you were sometimes in darkness, but now ye are in light. Ye are in light. light. It says walk. Walk as children of light. Walk as children of light. Is what it says. The scripture says to walk as children of light. But listen, we can't walk in the light unless we have the Spirit of God. You see, we got to be born again of the Holy Spirit. We got to repent and then we got to believe on Christ. Because your sin is what separated you from a holy God, my friends. It's sin. The see, what you're seeing before you right here is is what sin causes sin causes anger sin causes hatred sin causes you to want to fight and kill and maim and steal and drink and smoke sin and the devil has people in Jackson Mississippi all bound up in sin with no hope and they're just fine with it you're fine with it listen you're not going to be fine with it when you die if you die in your sin, you're not going to be fine with it. Because you'll end up in hell fire for all of eternity. And this place called hell the Bible talks about, it's enlarging itself. It enlarges itself every day. Think about how many people die every day without Jesus, without salvation, without the Holy Spirit of God. And Jesus said there's going to be few that enter into heaven. There's going to be few who find eternal life. He said in Matthew chapter number 7 and verse 13, you got a smartphone, go ahead and follow it. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. See, broad is the way that leads to destruction. And he said, many there be which go in there at. Because straight is the gate. Narrow is the way that leads to life. And he says, few there be that find it, my friend. And so my question to you today is, have you found eternal life? Are you on the path that leads to destruction? Which is the path, the way of the world. The way of the wicked. The way of the transgressor, the way of the sinner, is the way that leads to hell. But the way that leads to life 
can only be found in Christ Jesus. And see, you got a choice to make today, just like you did yesterday, and just like you did 10 years ago, and just like you did back when you were a teenager. You got a choice to make. You can either come to Jesus and be saved from your sin, or you can continue in your sin. You can continue to reject God. You can reject, continue to reject Jesus and what He did for you on the cross. Or you could come to Jesus today and be set free and be healed and receive what you don't deserve, mercy and grace. And you can have inner peace that can only be found in the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yes, inner peace. Because if you don't have Him, you don't have peace. If you don't have Him, you're always going to have a void. You're always going to smoke your cigarettes. You're always going to drink your alcohol. You're always going to covet. You're always going to blaspheme. You're always going to fornicate. You're always going to do these things. But when you find Christ, when you find Jesus Christ, when you come to Him, when you resist the devil, and you draw nigh unto God, and you call upon His name in faith, and mean it with all of your heart, Jesus Christ will save you. Jesus Christ will heal you. Jesus Christ will give you His Spirit. For the Bible says, I'll give you a new heart. And a new spirit will I put within you. And I'll take away the old stony heart of your flesh. And give you a heart of flesh. You see, you got the old stony heart. A lot of people, they got an old stony heart. A heart of bitterness. A heart of anger. A heart of pride. And Jesus Christ came to give you rest in. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When's the last time you had rest? I'll tell you, if you don't have Jesus, you ain't experienced rest. If you don't have Jesus, you don't know what rest is. Because Jesus gives rest. And He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and I'm lowly at heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. What burden are you carrying around today? Are you carrying around a heavy burden? Are you carrying around a burden that you have no rest? Are you like a troubled sea? Are you a troubled sea out there that has no rest? What are you? What are you? You're either a child of God or you're a child of the devil. There's no in between. The devil cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy you. And Jesus Christ came to give you life and life more abundant. The Bible says, Jesus said in John 6.37, all any man that cometh unto me I will in no wise cast out. That's any man. See, God wants you all, but most don't want God. They want sin. They want to have their sin. They want to have their pleasure. Hey, but it only lasts for a season. It's only pleasurable for a season. And then you die. And where will you be when you die? What will happen to you when you die? Well, I'll tell you what will happen to you. If you die without Christ, you're going to go to hell. But if you die in Christ, you're going to go to heaven. And most people today in Jackson and all across this nation will say, Well, I'm going to heaven. And my question to you is, how do you know? And if you're living in sin, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not right with God. You're in trouble. You're in danger. You're in danger of hellfire. Jesus talked about it. Where the worm dieth not, the fire's never quenched. He said there's outer darkness, there's wailing, there's gnashing of teeth. 
This is a place with no hope. You see, if you end up in hell because of your sin, because of your rebellion, because of your disobedience, you're going to end up in a place where there's no hope. You think it's bad now. You think your life sucks now. You don't like your life now. Well, imagine if you ended up in a devil's hell. And you know, eternity is a long time, friend. Eternity is a long time to be wrong. Eternity is a long time to be wrong. See, in eternity, it's forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. And that's just the beginning. See, it doesn't end. So it's a long time to be wrong. And that's why you don't want to get this wrong. wrong. That's why you should want to get it right. That's why you should want to get right with God today. Why you still have time, friends. Oh, why will you die in your sin? God takes no delight in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked would turn from their wicked ways and live. God wants you to live. God doesn't want to put you in hell. But God is holy. God is righteous. God is just. God is good. God is fair. And you deserve hell for your sins. That's the truth. But there is only one truth, one way, one life. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Oh, will you turn to Jesus today? Will you turn to Jesus today? Will you turn from your sin today? And turn unto the Lamb of God. John, he saw Jesus. He said, Behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. They don't want to tell you those things. That if you continue in your sin, you're going to go to, go to hell fire forever. They don't want to tell you those things. They don't want to tell you the hard things. Oh, sir, will you turn to Jesus today? i give you something to read, sir. Turn to Jesus Christ. Yes. They don't want to tell you these things, but that's the truth. And your conscience bears witness. You test, your conscience testifies of these things that I'm talking about today. That's why you're uncomfortable. That's why it makes you uncomfortable in the flesh. That's why you got people who say, I don't want to go home. I don't want to hear this. Because you know you're in trouble with God, sir. You know you're in trouble with God. That's why you don't want to hear it. Because you know you're a drunkard on your way to hell without Christ. But the good news is, is God can save you from your drunkenness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The good news is God can save you from your porn addiction, whatever it is. He can save you from it. He can give you victory over it. If you believe. But what is belief anyway? A lot of people say, I believe. But they live like hell. I believe. But they live like the devil. See, that's not true belief. A true belief will result in a change of life. A true belief in Jesus will result in a change of life where you'll hate sin, where you'll run from sin, where you'll flee from sin, and you'll love the things of God. You'll love the things of Christ. You'll, you'll love what Christ did for you. You'll be joyous about the Word of God and the things of God. Oh, please, my friends, think about what I'm saying today. You might not get another chance. You might not get another day to get right with God. How long are you going to continue without Christ in this, in this world? How long are you going to continue to go on thinking? Some of you here think you're right with God. Some of you here think that you're right with God, but you're not. Your life testifies against you. And you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to you. Your life testifies against you. I saw you the other week. I saw you the other week. I saw you the other week dancing around. 
dancing around to wicked, ungodly, perverted music where all these women were booty shaking. Wickedness, man. You're far from God. But you could know Him. You could know Him if you repent. That you might be saved, right? So what is this? What's the sin? You, you're dancing around and in, and I, glorying I, 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 in your shame. What is the sin if he took it away? He died on the cross, right? He died on the cross, not so. So, so did he die in the? Did, did he take it from my flesh? No, he didn't. Not, not unless you come to him for salvation. But it's given, right? But if if you come to him for salvation, right, and he saves you, what does he set you free from? Sin. Then why aren't you free? I'm free. I just saw you. I just saw you last week. So you repented hey, from that? Hey, wickedness, hey, man. About, hey, to wicked music hey, hey, that doesn't glo that, do that doesn't glorify God. Satan rebelled against God. Satan's the author of sin, not God. Let's not get that twisted around. He created everything that's here, that's created. I, I don't disagree with that, but he's not the author of sin. Satan rebelled. Satan rebelled because he had a free will, just like you do, to rebel against God. No, no, no. See, me and God is one. You're, you're, you're in rebellion towards God, sir. No, I'm a rebellion for God. No, man. That's wicked. That's wicked. Hey, that's wicked. Do you know who I am? I know who you are by your fruit. Hey, by your fruit. I don't want to cut off the wicked. No, nah, man. You're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah. you You're a liar. I'm giving you the truth, man. Hey, man. God will turn every other trans right now. You know this. He said heal right now. God. How you doing? How are you doing, sir? I'm gonna tell you how you're doing. You're not doing well. Because you're still on your way to hell. But you don't have to. See, we have this mixed up notion that we can have one foot in the world and in sin and have the other foot in with Christ. It's not how it works. The Bible says you can't serve two masters. You can't serve Satan and God at the same time. Jesus said you cannot serve two masters. For you will either love the one and hate the other or you will hold the one and despise the other. You say, I can't judge as you take a puff off a of black and mild. Really? That's wicked, man. That's wicked. The Bible tells you to judge. The Bible says a spiritual man judges all things. Do you not know that the saints shall judge the world? I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV. You should repent. You should repent. You need, to, you need to repent. Right there. You're, you're, you, you just put it up to your mouth and smoked it. You need to repent, man. Yes, Jesus Christ commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness. See, God, when he comes to judge, you know, you... You ought to take heed to my judgment now because the judgment of God is going to be way worse. Man, wait till you meet God. God, you, you, you say my judgment's bad. Wait till you meet God. That's going to be a scary day for you. You, you ought to be thankful I'm out here judging because the judgment of God is going to be way worse for you if you die in your sin. If you die in your sin, the judgment of God will be way worse for you. Because it will be an eternal judgment. It will be an eternal judgment. In which He'll cast you in the lake of fire if you're found in your sin. But Jesus Christ, my friends, the Jesus Christ of the Bible saves from sin. The Jesus Christ of the Bible doesn't leave you in sin. The scripture says in Romans 6, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, it says. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? So if you claim to be a child of God like that man over there, 
and you're living in sin, you're glorying in sin, then you prove yourself to be a liar. It's very simple, my friends. You can't have Christ and have your sin at the same time. It doesn't work. Jesus said that the, the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, if thy eye shall be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. So if the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? The Bible says, For the love of Christ constraineth us, for we thus judge, that if one died for all, if one died for all, then all were dead. And that he died for all, that they that live, so they that live should not henceforth live unto themselves. We shouldn't live unto ourselves, but unto him who died for you and rose again. The life, the death, the burial, the resurrection. He can resurrect you from death unto life. Because without Christ, we're dead inside. Without Christ, we have a void. But in Christ, we have fulfillment. In Christ, we have fulfillment. He purchases you with His blood when you repent and believe on it. Will you turn to Jesus today? Will you receive His mercy and grace today? Will you receive joy unspeakable today? It's joy unspeakable to know the God of heaven. To know that you walk in communion with God. That you can walk anywhere and God is with you. He is faithful, my friend. God is faithful to those who will come to Him. In faith. In faith. Will you come to Him in faith today? Will you come to the Lord Jesus Christ in faith? Can I give you something to read? Will you come to the Lord in faith today? Repent. Read that card, please. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ today, my friends. Repent and believe the gospel. The Bible says, for the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God. Oh, yes, man, absolutely. What's your name? What is it? Melinda. Can I pray for you, man? Yeah. Can I pray for you? Yeah. Father God, I come come before you with Melinda. And Lord God, I, I, I know she was listening a long time. God, I pray you touch her, Lord. I pray that she'd come to you in faith. And I pray that she'd read this card uh, when she gets home. And it's alone by herself. And she'd just call out to you, God, in faith. And, and uh, be set free from the darkness of this world, God. In Christ Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you for listening. Hallelujah. You want something to read? Hope in Jesus Christ. Listen, there's hope in Christ. I saw you quoting some stuff. There's hope in Jesus. Please turn from your sin today. Trust in the Savior. Trust in the Savior. Trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent, believe the gospel. Jesus said, They that are whole need not a physician but they that are sick they that are whole need not a physician but they that are sick i came not to call the righteous but sinners to repentance you see god's calling you to repent today he's calling the brokenhearted today unto themselves he's calling the sinful the angry the wicked he wants you he wants to save you god wants you but God can't have you just the way you are. You have to turn from your sin. You have to give up your rebellion. You have to give up your way. Because your way is the wrong way. There's only one way. There's only one truth. There's only one life. And it's found in Jesus Christ. It's found in Jesus Christ. See, you're all searching for something. Some of you are just wandering around aimlessly. Your life sucks. You hate it. I'll tell you what. You can find fulfillment in Christ like you never dreamed and it doesn't cost you anything all you have to do is repent all you have to do is turn away from this wicked world oh this world is wicked this devil is out to kill you young men don't even think that he's not the devil cometh not to kill steal and destroy your life the devil wants to put you in the grave and put you in hell and Christ is up in heaven with a hand of extension saying come to me Come to me and receive forgiveness. Come to me 
and receive mercy. Come to me and receive grace. You can receive that. You can receive eternal life. Will you stiffen your neck though? That's the question. How long will you wait to get right with God? How long will you think that you have all this time, my friend? You could be dead today. You could be dead tomorrow. Where are you going to go? And most people, I'm telling you right now, on a contrary to what the American church says, are going to hell because they live in sin. They live in sin. They're bound. They haven't truly met God. But I'm here today that you could. That you could seek Him with all your heart and you could find Him. You could find Him. You could seek Him. You could find Him. You could experience Him. And you could be saved by Him. But you have to repent. You've done wickedly. You've done wrong. You've sinned against God. And you need the forgiveness of God because you're going to die. And when is that? I don't know. I know if I die today, I'm secure in Christ. I couldn't tell you that two years ago though. Two years ago, I was on my way to hell like most people are today. I was on my way to a devil's hell and I deserved it. I was wicked. I went and killed people in Afghanistan. I went and killed people in Afghanistan. I was getting drunk every day, living like the devil. But I found peace in Jesus Christ. I found peace in Jesus. Will you repent? Will you turn to, Je to Jesus? Turn to Jesus Christ. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Please read that card. Take it seriously. Look, think about where you're going. Think about where you're going in this life. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to the Lord. God wants to save you, but you got to repent. Yeah, I do. anytime's fine. Uh, take this too. Yep, yep, that phone has internet. On there is uh, an email address. What's your name, man? Martez. What is it? Martez. Martez. I'm Alan. Yeah. Good to meet you, man. Okay, I understand. Good to meet you, man. God bless you. Be blessed, man. Yeah, you can call me anytime. All right. Turn to Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. You got a question? What's your question? Hey, what? Huh? Man, God, I'm a little bit sad. What's that? You can take that off. Man, I'm a little sad. And then, God got me. God got me. Why? God got me. Why? God, God has you? Yeah. Uh, You're yeah. born again? Yeah, man. I ain't trying to get in my lab. My ain't gonna be broke open me. Well, open me, okay. God, no, God. So, so seek God. Let him hold you on me with no God. Uh, hold you on me with yeah. no God. Don't seek, don't seek anything else but seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't seek, don't seek a girlfriend. Seek the Lord instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, man. Read, yeah. read, read that card. Uh -huh. Read, read that card. Uh -huh. When you get alone, by yourself, uh -huh. read that card. Uh -huh. okay. Call out to God in faith. God will save you. Okay. But you got to believe. Okay. You got to be ready to turn away from this yeah. world. Listen, you got to be ready to turn away from this world. This world is passing away. All right? People are dying by the, by the dozens. Every single day, people are dropping off into hell. All right? Every single day, People are dropping off into hellfire because they don't have Christ. They haven't given their life to Jesus. They haven't given their life to God. You something to read, man? Put that right there for you. There you go. Yeah. Take that. God bless. Turn to Jesus Christ. I already gave you one. God bless you. Yeah. What's up? You got another bottle, honey? 
What do you, a water bottle? Yeah, I'll give you a water bottle. Uh, right, right, right here. Take that. So you can have both of them if you want. Alright. Yeah, let's turn to Jesus Christ. You gotta